The Buddha. You know, if the power is out, it's a little stressful because your alarms are going off. Oh, sweetheart. The stupid darn alarms. Look, we'll get your thunder shirt. So here is Scout. This is Scout. Um, as I said previously, I've got a sound effect of an alarm on my phone ready to go. And I also have cream cheese in a packet here. I just cut off the side so Scout can have a little nibble of it while we're doing this training. You want to make sure that you have a really high value treat when you're doing this because you're dealing with something they're very scared of and so you want to pair it with something that's really good to teach them that when they hear that scary sound, good things can happen. Now, if Scout heard this alarm at full um, volume, she would start tremoring and she would get scared and she would be shaking and she would hide and she'd get extremely nervous. So I have turned the volume way, way down. So hopefully um, it will not be enough to make her nervous, but something that she will hear. So we will see um, if this is, if I have the volume down low enough, it can't go much lower. So it's going and you can barely hear it. You can see by her body language, she can hear it, but she's still willing to take the cream cheese. And she's not shaking and she is taking it. What I'm going to do is stop it and then take away the cheese. That way, when she hears the sound, the cheese comes out. When the sound goes away, the cheese goes away. So I'm gonna do it again at that same volume. Because I could see her eyes get big and her ears kinda went up, I know that she got a little bit nervous, so I'm not gonna turn up the volume until she gets to the point where she's really calm. So again, cheese first, turn on the sound. This is gonna be a very slow process because I don't ever want Scout to get so nervous that she can't eat the cream cheese or that she starts to show extreme um, stress or fear. So then I will give her a little break and then take the cream cheese away. And you can see that right now she's not shaking, so it's not enough. But we're gonna to have to do this quiet volume quite a few times before I can increase it again. And then I'll increase it just by one little bit. Um, the, and then I'll keep increasing the volume until she can hear it full volume while she's taking the treat and she doesn't care anymore. So that's how you desensitize to a sound fear. Um, you can do very similar things um, if they're afraid of the garbage truck or if they're afraid of some other sounds, just get them on your phone and play it at a very low volume and then you can control the environment and help your dog get over some of their fears. I hope that this video has helped you and I look forward to teaching you more.